Hello, welcome to a new video. This is my first tutorial on this channel. So I hope uh, it works. And today I want to show you how to make a time lapse in Krita. So first thing you got to do is you need to have Krita and the Krita you need to have is Krita 5. So make sure you get the latest uh, Krita version. Okay. And so it has to be this one, Krita 5.0.2. And if you don't have Krita 5, it won't work. So make sure you have Krita. Remember, it's free. So uh, there's no excuse to not have the, the, first, the newest version. And you can have it for Linux, Windows, etc. So just close that, download Krita. So once you have Krita open, you're going to want to start doing your drawing and doing your time lapse. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and then you go to dockers, okay? Once you're here, you gotta check recorder. So make sure recorder is on and you have a tick on this. So click on recorder and you're gonna get this window. Okay. So this is a window that is going to appear. And here you're gonna put, uh, you're gonna have some options that you can change. So you can put the interval. So basically this means that it's gonna take like a screenshot every three seconds or you can move that to uh, one second, three seconds, whatever, whatever you prefer. Also, you can switch between PNG and JPEG, but pretty much it's the same thing. So whatever uh, you choose, it's fine. And uh, you can put the compression or the quality. So if you're in a JPEG, you can go to 100. But if you don't want your file to be super heavy, just go with 80 and that should be OK. And the resolution. Uh, go with the original or you can also go half so basically if you want don't want to you don't want your time lapse to be super heavy just go with half of the resolution and that should be okay uh if you really just want to make like a quick quick uh quick uh, time lapse and you don't want to be too heavy just go with a quarter so that's gonna depend on whatever you do and then you can record in isolate mode or you can just uh record automatically but uh, once you're ready, you gotta click record, okay? And then you can start uh, painting and it's gonna record whatever you are painting. So there you go, I have the paint and now I'm going to export. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, uh, you're gonna click here where it says export and you're going to get a new window. And in this window, you're gonna choose the input, the frames per second. You can go 30, you can go 24, whatever you prefer. I like working with 24 frames because I'm an animator and I'm used to 24 frames. And you can also hold the last frame. So basically the last frame is gonna be your finished drawing, your finished painting. So whatever you prefer, you can just hold it for five seconds, three seconds or whatever you prefer. I think three seconds is fine. Sometimes it becomes uh, pretty annoying to just watch five seconds of the image, but three seconds should be fine. And if you don't like the size of your painting, you can resize it and you can resize basically the video what you're going to export. OK, so once you have that, you need to have also the FFMPEG uh, installed or at least you, you need to have it somewhere in your computer. I have it in my desktop, so make sure you have this one to export and then you can render this way as an MP4 by 265. And once you have that, this is your video location and that's where you're going to have your uh, time lapse. So and once you export, you're going to have uh, your video and look at this. This is what you get at the end. So this is like a time lapse that you get in Procreate, but it's a bit more complicated, but it's not that complicated. So this is a cool way to have a time lapse so you can put it on Instagram or social media or wherever you want to put it and you can see the process of your painting. So I hope this works. I hope this works for you. And if you have any questions, just put in the comments and thank you for watching. So see you in the next video. I'll be making more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and have a good day. Bye.